da da da. Da da da. Let's quickly talk about adjustable veneer anchors, also known as wall ties, but they're really um, the code calls them veneer anchors. The green checkerboard pattern is 16 by 16. All right. That's that's a lot closer together than the code requires. The code requires every two and two thirds square feet. If you look at every 16 by 16, that's something like every 1.7 square feet, I think it is. Um, but that's how these that's how the um, horizontal joint reinforcement is. It's every 16 inches. That's how they come manufactured. So does that mean just if you use the ladder type wire with the integral IM pencil, you're, you're going to be okay? No, it doesn't because there's some special requirements like proximity to movement joints and proximity to window jams and proximity to bottoms of openings. Um, but generally, yeah, two and two thirds square feet. So 16 by 16 more than covers you. Let us take a closer look now. We know that we're going to have flashing at the base and we're going to have flashing at window heads. So we can't have um, veneer anchors conflicting with that flashing and we don't want to put them through the flashing because we don't want to put big old holes in our flashing when we rely on our flashing to uh, resist moisture. So we've got six, we can we can have 16 inches above the opening and we can have these at 16 inches above the bottom. We do need the adjustable veneer anchors no more than 12 inches from the sides and the bottoms of the openings and from the vertical control joint. So this is not a huge problem. Any good bricklayer can do things like add an, add another strip of uh, wall ties here, offset the whole uh, wall ties um, you know down here at the sill. Uh, and, and there are things you can do to make sure that you have enough uh, anchor points for your masonry veneer.